Hello and welcome to Food Beware Recipes. Today we're gonna make a really simple chocolate ice cream with minimal ingredients without sugar, corn flour or milk. We're right in the middle of a pandemic and given the kind of monsoons we are in, having store-bought ice creams can often trigger cold or throat infections like they do for me. Well, I really cannot stay away from ice creams and this is one of my favorite recipes to make some really creamy and tasty chocolate ice cream using banana. And hey, the ice cream does not taste anything like banana. If you're not fond of banana-based desserts, since we'll be using other ingredients which will completely mask the taste of banana in the end. So let's get started right away. For this, we need very ripe bananas since they tend to be more sweeter than usual. Make sure your bananas have these dark spots on their skin. I have chosen the Elaichi variety of bananas since they are very common in the southern parts of India here. So I have about 400 grams of these bananas which are ripe but firm like this. They need to be firm because it will finally add up to the creamy texture of the ice cream. Let's start slicing them all like this. And we'll put them all into a bowl like this. Let's spread them evenly to avoid their sticking onto each other as we freeze them. So we cover this with a lid and keep it in the freezer for about 6 hours. Okay, so they are frozen but not hard and that's exactly how we want them to be. Here's a closer look. This is a dairy free version of the ice cream and we need some plant based milk to make the ice cream actually creamy. I have used cashew nuts soaked for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I add a bit of water to make some cashew nut milk. After blending the milk looks like this. You can use any plant based milk of your choice. It could be coconut milk, soy milk or even use soaked almonds to make this. Next, we add two dates to make the ice cream more sweet. Then add the sliced bananas to the blender. For the chocolate flavor, you can use two tablespoons of cocoa powder or cacao powder. I have used cacao because it's less processed. Do not add any water and just blend. We get this smooth mixture. Scrape the sides and blend a little more. So here's how we get our super creamy mixture. Now take a tub, tray or any container and let's pour the ice cream mixture into it. Let's level the top a bit. I'm adding roughly chopped almonds to the top, however you may use any nuts of your choice. Let's cover the tub before placing it in the freezer for at least 4 hours. Alright, our ice cream is ready and let's scoop out some. Here we go and you can see how creamy the ice cream has finally turned out to be. There are very few water crystals, that's because we have used plant milk here. If you want to skip the plant milk, it's okay because it will not affect the final taste anymore. 
It's just that adding plant milk or dairy milk to the ice cream results in the final creamy texture which otherwise is achieved using corn flour. Now as I serve this in a bowl, let me show you how the spoon cuts through the ice cream. Now that's a perfectly soft, luscious and lovely texture that we have got to the ice cream. With these quantities of ingredients, you're good to go with serving around 6 to 7 bowls of ice cream in the family. If you're planning to store this ice cream, let me tell you it stays fresh for up to 4 days when frozen. Do try this recipe yourself and let me know in the comments how it turns out for you. Thanks for watching and if you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it across your friends. If you are here on my channel for the first time, make sure you click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. I'd also love if you visit my website Fit Be Well where I share not just recipes but also stuff on health, fitness and parenting. Stay tuned for my next video and more.